<clears throat> Good evening. Miss Smith, my name is Detective Ramirez. Ramirez. <laughs> Detective, do you know that Ramirez is the last name of a serial killer in the United States? Uh, good to know. Did you know that Blue Eyeshadow has not been in fashion since 1980? Okay, so I will be the one asking the questions here. Do you know why you are here today? Ms. Oh, um, no, uh, Detective, I, 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 have, I, have, I have no idea why I'm, I'm, I'm here um, um, today. Okay. Uh, your roommate was found murdered in your apartment this morning. Shut the front door. Melody? Oh, I've always liked her. Hang on. Where exactly in the house did you find her? In, in the living room. Oh, come on. I just had those carpets cleaned. Could they not kill her in the kitchen? There are towels in the kitchen. It's easier to clean. Smith, um, I feel like we're wildly off topic right now. So let's just, you know, <laughs> rein it in. Um, where exactly were you this morning? I was, I was at the gym. Oh, you, you were at the, at the gym. Okay, uh, Miss Smith, I know you're lying. Um, your gym membership states that you have not been in the gym in three months. Do you want to try again? Did I say gym? I meant I was at my boyfriend gym. Your, your boyfriend gym. Okay, um, strike two. Miss Smith, um, as for your social media and your WhatsApp messages, uh, you have not been in a contact with any male in three months. But detective, are you a dating coach? Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Um, let's get back to the interrogation. So, like I mentioned this morning, your roommate was found murdered um, in your apartment in the living room. And right next to her was the murder weapon covered in blood and fingerprints. I don't know what um, criminal <laughs> would leave the murder weapon lying next to the dead body with their fingerprints on it. So, um, does this uh, happen to look familiar to you? Oh, that, that, you can prove that and that is not mine. It is not No, mine. it doesn't. Um, Smith, it has got a label on um, property of Trudy Smith, not Melanie Griffith. Shit, I knew my compulsive labeling would get me into trouble sometime. Okay, so this is all just um, being a formality. Um, we actually know that you did it. Uh, the reason I called you in here today is to know, to you know, ask you why. Oh, you want to know why? <laughs> Detective, let me paint you a little bit of a picture. Go ahead, paint me a picture. So this morning I wake up and clearly it's not a good day and I need my cup of joe to, you know, uh, sparkle me up and I open the cupboard and guess what, it's empty, there are no cups in the cupboard so I look into the basin and inside the sink, it's a sink, right, inside the sink there is a pile of dirty dishes from this high. So let me understand this, um, huh, you murdered your roommate because she didn't yeah, I killed her because she didn't do the dishes. Detective, it is a matter of principle. This bitch walks into the kitchen, all bright eyed and bushy tails, because clearly she had coffee. I mean, nobody wakes up looking like that without coffee. So she walks straight past me and past the dishes that she was supposed to wash the night before into the lounge. And I knew I had a second to spare. So guess what I did? I grabbed that pan out of the sink. Yes, I did. The dirty pan that has been lying there for a week, gathering mold and goop, and it was disgusting. And I took it, and you know what I did? I hit over the head with it. <laughs> okay, miss. Um, thank you for that beautiful picture. Um, we actually have everything we need uh, to convict you um, and I believe that you have uh, 20 screws loose in your head and um, sitting opposite you actually scares me a little bit. So we're going to wrap up this investigation. Thank you, uh, you have been served. Have a great time in prison. <laughs> Bye.